Hello, I'm here at the cemetery. And actually my coven is here with me. Um, oh, again, it's Rowan Ravenwolf. Um, so they may have questions, but this is just really historical. This video is going to be historical. Um, as you know, I like to come here to do ritual. I also like to come to just walk, um, find new people. So I'm so right now we're in the Romani section. So lots of really amazing Romani family here. But what I wanted to talk about today was um, here at Forest Home Cemetery, and actually I, I've talked about it before, um, that in Forest Park, there are more deceased residents than living residents. And when you are here in the cemetery, um, the reason it's that way is because at one point there was a moratorium in the city of Chicago. What was happening is that when the spring melt would come and the snow would melt, the cemeteries that were close to the Chicago River and to Lake Michigan would raise the water level, the water table, and they would find caskets, coffins, and deceased bodies that were wrapped in shrouds floating on Lake Michigan or on the Chicago River. So the city of Chicago did a moratorium that there could be no burials in the city of Chicago. So the train line came out to Forest Park and stopped in Forest Park. So they decided that Forest Park would be a really great neighborhood to have burials. So um, I've said before, we are in a cemetery um, across the street on the north side of the Eisenhower Highway, which we're gonna see in just a minute is um sorry there's like really loud music so there's a family celebrating here i can tell um there's a cemetery it's a lutheran cemetery there are a lot of catholic cemeteries there are a ton of jewish cemeteries and here there's a lot of germans buried it here because this again was wildheim and forest home so you can kind of see this is an older section so everybody in this section was basically buried in the 19th century so most of the passing aways are going to be in like the 1890s well there's a few in the 19 but most of the people here were at least born in in 1800s um so a few may have lived and passed away so here in just a second actually from here yes you can see it so you see the freeway there um there is sorry running in front of a tree you can see one of our metro trains in the Chicagoland area on the track. That is literally where the trains would come in. So there would be a funeral car with the casket on it. You can see, I think I'm zoomed in too much. No, okay. Yep, that little blue blob there, that is, that is the metro train. So that is the train track. So the train would come in from the city. One car would be the funeral car similar to Abraham Lincoln and that would have the casket of the dearly departed and everybody else would be on the back of the train when it pulled in the station they would at that point depart um, I'm gonna let the coven pass me because they're chatterbugs right now um, so and you can see the train really clear so right there's the train that's not moving that's stationary so they would pull in there, they would go to Concordia to the north or to the north side of the train or here on the south side of the train and the funeral processions would proceed. So that is how that happened. Now you can see like a semi just went by, you can kind of see cars in here, the highway. The highway actually was built in 1950 and 500 bodies from the highway belonged here at Forest Home and a 1500 belonged to Concordia. So they were moved to the respective cemetery or um, graveyard because Concordia is a graveyard, not a cemetery. Oh, this is a mausoleum, sorry. And I like was so zoomed in, you're getting like just a pillar. Um, so <laughs> there are still bodies there buried under the highway. Some bodies were always buried in like 
in a shroud, kind of like, uh, like a cheesecloth. So if you didn't have money for a casket or a coffin, you would be buried that way. And the caskets and the coffins at that time were all wood. So they biodegraded pretty quickly. So when the bodies were moved, most of the time they were falling, um, unfortunately, because of, of nature. So um, they were becoming part of the earth again. But that was what I wanted to tell you today about Forest Home Cemetery. And so I'm going to get back with my coven and we're just going to go have some fun and play with spirits. So as always, have a blessed day. Merry meet, merry part, blessed be, and namaste.